Alrighty, boys and girls, welcome back. Episode two. I know uh, things have been screwing up here, left, right, and center for me. So we're not actually doing a live upload. We're just going to record, and then we're going to piece it together, and then we're going to upload it. So episode two, yes sir, we Bob. Okay, so we're on our way in town with our fleet star here, and uh, yeah. So I'll explain things when we get back to the uh, the garage. What I've done, I made a few changes. But anyways, we're going to fix the uh, rock slide. And uh, we got some service spare parts in the back of the little trailer. And we're going to pick up a uh, metal beam, which takes up two slots. So always got to remember that. Metal beams take up two. Some, some items, like concrete slabs, take up two slots. So, you know, when you see something like it is up there, it says metal beams one, service parts one. Uh, yeah, you got to try to learn what each thing takes up for space because uh, you know it could uh, <laughs> you could be making a trip for nothing well you won't be making it for nothing but uh, you may have to make some adjustments when you get there so anyway anyway, so we're going there oh mind you I could have uh, I just thought of this but oh well too late there is a trailer there that has, I believe, spare parts on it that we could have grabbed. It's also got bricks. We're eventually going to have to bring it back anyways. Okay, so uh, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be playing partially hardcore. A little bit of hardcore mixed in with just regular mode. I try to implement as much hardcore as I can and what that means is is we're not gonna do certain things in the easy sense now I know there is a hard mode built into the game now that you can go into your save game XML and switch it to hard and and I may still do that with another save game I may give it a try I don't know but this is a new player playthrough so I don't want to make it overly hard but, at the same token, I want to have some fun and do things the way I like to do it and not the way everyone else has been doing it. And I do give credit to Arthur Chapman. I watched a few of his videos. Uh, if any of you haven't watched them, go check them out. Okay, so, um, hmm. not sure how I'm going to do this. So we're going we're just gonna try it anyways. And uh, nope, we don't want it in the truck. Um, don't want it in the trailer. We're gonna put it there on the platform. And we are gonna try to recover it now. It's it's actually really in a not a good spot. I don't know when the developers were making this why they put it there and didn't build some kind of little loading dock here for us because this is just not really in a great spot. Okay, so let's um, ba -da, ba -da, activate our anchors. Hopefully we'll be able to pick this up. I'm pretty sure we can. I'm not too worried. I mean, because there is no good way to come in at it. Now, hopefully do we have enough reach? I mean, we could always pull it towards us. Which is kind of what we got to do here. And then we got to spin it. Get it off the ground. It's kind of an awkward spot. Yep, we were against our gear there. Hopefully we can get it onto the truck without hitting the building here. I mean, it is fairly heavy. Ooh, she's close. I wonder if we lift it above the building. Hmm. Don't want to hit the building.
could hide the controls because I mean we know the controls. Get her up against that headboard. There we go. Voila! Just like that, it is done. Hey, we're gonna restore the crane and we're going to secure our load. Um, there we go. Now we'll back up a little bit. Again, it's in a really, really dumb position the way they did it. I would have preferred a, some kind of a loading dock. Um, that makes it really hard where that comes down. But whatever, we did it. See, now what I should have done was just come in and grab that trailer. It's got a service spare parts in the back. And brought it with me, but oh well. That would have made it life a little easier. But it is what it is. I didn't think of it. So let's head up here to the uh, place where we got to do this. I'm not sure if that's a different one or if that's the same one. We'll find out when we get up here. We'll do it. And when we come back. So, after watching a few videos, you know, putting it in diff lock all-wheel drive uses a lot of fuel. So, and this truck does pretty good in general. So, we're going to try to do it without. And off we have no, tr obviously, if we get to the point where... Like right here, we might uh, dig in a bit. I don't know. And we don't want to dig in too much. So what we'll do is uh, we'll just put our diff lock on and see if that gets us out and go slow. Yeah, see the diff lock gets us out. And we've got shitty tires on, you know. Still got only the uh, highway tires. And oh, my foot's caught here. Hold on. Got to fix myself. Oh, that sounded freaking wrong, didn't it? Okay, let's get up here to the uh, rock slide and get this stuff delivered. We can get this mission done. See, there's another one there. I don't know what that is. I don't know if I've accepted that one or not. But we're going to and put it in our list. Now, we got to make sure we can turn around here. We've got an idea. All right, let's deliver. Boof! And just like that, we've got her done. Yes, sir, -y Bob. Okay, so what we're going to do is I'm going to let her roll back a little bit. And I'm going to attempt to pull a U-turn here. Might be better if we had it in all-wheel drive or diff lock. Uh, I'm not sure. Yeah, let's uh, get the diff lock in. We might have to get all-wheel drive activated here. I'm not sure. A yeah, little, little slick. The fact that we have the rain doesn't help. Okay, so we got that done. Let's go check on this here, if I've got it activated or not. What's the next one? Deliver to the wooden bridge, wooden planks times two. I think that's what we're going to do next. But I want to... Uh, show task. Uh, what is this one? X. This is a uh, delivered to Wooden Bridge. No, I have no idea. No, this one's find the pump near the Steel River. Find the pump near the garage. Find the pump near the farm. Off-road truck is recommended. Hmm. This sounds like one to do with the Apache. 
pump. Pump. I'm not sure what we're supposed to do with these, but that's two pumps. There's supposed to be one near the garage. Well, I think that's that one there. Uh, oh, and there's one right there. Well, we may do that uh, after. All right, so what we are gonna do is we're gonna go sleep up here at the motel. drive just to get through this a little bit. Now I can't remember, did we accept this one too? Kind of want to get this one accepted. I like to get them all accepted, that way they're in my list and I don't have to go back looking for them. There we go. Stuck trailer, eh, we'll worry about that another time. Sorry about your front lawn there, buddy. I can't remember, did we even get that tower? Yeah, of course we did. What's this place? Is this a motel? It doesn't look like a motel. I don't know what that is. Now we got to turn off and go down the lumber mill. So well, we're just going to pull off to the side here and take a little bit of a sleep. We'll get down to the lumber mill first, I think. I think we can do that. Oops, wrong button. We did do a little bit off camera and I apologize for that. I was trying to record and things were screwing up. I had some internet issues going on. I was trying to direct upload or direct record to YouTube. And like I said, I was having some issues. So there's a small section here that you guys did miss and I'll explain it to you. Uh, we did go discover a couple of towers up near the garage. We did do one farm mission. You know, we, we uh, fix the uh, the tower. Ooh, she's a bouncy, bouncy, bouncy girl. Now I'm hoping I can, we can make it to that wooden bridge. I know how to get there from the back way here, and that's the easier way to go. So I'm hoping we get in there. I'm hoping we'll have enough weight on here that we can do this. Alright, so we're going to we'll drive in here because it's a little bit muddy. We will drop our trailer off to the side here. All right, let's uh, da -da -da, get the cargo loading platform, uh, wooden planks, one. Uh, well, we got to do them uh, individually because if we put another one there, it'll just it doesn't go side by side. I wish it did. I don't know why it doesn't. I wish like you kept pressing it, it would fill up the whole platform. Okay, uh, let's uh, wrong button. Stop engine and let's advance time. There we go, next morning. It was a good night. I don't know about you guys. Alright. 
Ooh, she's pretty violent. That's the first one. Another one. Oh, I didn't expect the uh, thing to uh, fold up there on me. I must have hit it by accident. the cargo we're good to go now where we got to go is behind the sawmill here so just to get out of here oops I'm gonna put that on just so we can get out Put the trailer in a way that we can get her back when we come out of there. Parker by the entrance. Okay. Let's see if we can make it to the back here. We're going to have to shortcut it a little bit, I think, is going to be the better option instead of going up that road. Oh, there goes the tree. Sorry about the tree, buddy. Uh, I don't know. I think we're just going to uh, yeah, go straight up the hill here because I don't think we're going to make it up through there. Let's hope we make it up here. We might have to come over to the left there a little bit to get up. It's pretty steep right here, but let's see. No, she's going. go down too early here. We'll just take our time. Leave 
the all-wheel drive on for going through here just to be safe now if you guys have a previous save game exploring will you know afford you this to know where to go uh, which is what I recommend you know is have two save games one for exploring and learning stuff and one for actually playing the game so if you've pre-explored you'll know that you need to come over here to do this bridge now if you're like me you'll have come to that side and you go what the heck and scratch your head but yeah so as you can see you can come to this side here off your planks over here now we don't want to get too far in so that we don't get stuck in the mud see I wish that you could there was a manual offload zone too that would be actually amazing all right Curtain side trailer to the trailer park. Hmm. All right, let's take a look. Is it in here? No. Is it in this one? No. In this one? No. Where the heck is it? Stuck trailer. Ooh. Delivered to the trailer park, which is there. Oh, and the trailer's over there. Yeah, we're not getting that out right now. No, sir, Bob. I don't think we're getting down there to get that. Just yet. Missing machinery. Oh, we should go in town and uh, get that activated. Well, we get this drainage one activated, too. I thought we'd, uh... Oh, that's by the stuck trailer. I thought we'd gotten those activated. Because that's by that rock slide. Is that a new one? I wonder if that's a new one. Well, we're going to go out there with the, the our trailer. Just, uh, we can actually sell that trailer because we have that other one with the uh, bricks that we'll grab and bring back to our yard. Uh, this is the only way out uh, that's safe. Once you have better vehicles, there are other ways to get out. Staying on the more solid ground here. Make life a little bit easier for us. I know there's another rock sliding bridge that has to get fixed. But I don't remember what they need. You have to go discover them and then that's the sucky part has come back. I'm pretty sure steel beams is something so I'm thinking I'm going to grab some steel beams coming back. But whether it's one or two I don't know. Maybe I should keep this trailer and just grab two steel beams and bring them back. I mean, we'll eventually need them.
see on the fuel here. I don't know that we'll make it up this hill. Yeah, put that all-wheel drive in anyways. Might have to do the diff lock. The nice part about the controller or a wheel, if you're using a wheel, is that you can control the amount of fuel that you're using, or not using, but uh, how much throttle you're giving it. I think we're going to uh, put our diff lock on to climb. Make it a little bit easier for us. And if you hear crunching, I'm eating cheesies. Just saying. Of course, you're like me. Keep the throttle floored. I really like these old trucks, man. Western Star White is one that I can I'm really looking forward to getting. It's a really good truck. As far as old trucks go, right? Let's go double check that one. What is it we have? Oh yeah, we're not gonna do this one that's up on the screen. Yeah, we could actually pick up a single steel and then could almost not worry about that other trailer yet. I don't know. I'm just gonna go over here and check these out just because You want to go we're going to stop tracking this one see that's showing up there but I was sure we had uh, Accepted that one. Now we did accept it. Let's, uh, what is that one? That's the stuck trailer one. That's what I thought. Okay. It's the drainage one up there that. I a little bit confused with not this one this one I know we did so obviously we didn't get that other one though I don't think making a rut here, that's why, as we keep going over the same spot, which is just making a hell of a rut. I'm sure we accepted this one, man. Apparently not. this one. Pump near the Steel River. Find the pump near the... Oh, those ones. Okay. Well, we can't do that with this. We'll stop tracking that. Yep. I'm going to go get rid of this trailer here. Since we're over here anyways. A little bit 
better ground over here to the left. Trailer place should be up here on the right somewhere. there. Now if we carry up this road, we'll end up on the other map. The dam, Smithfield Dam gonna have to do at some point but I want to get going on this one before we start going over to Smithville Dam. And really we're not gonna need two of these trailers. Oh a little bit soft. Four hundred dollars to our name. Additional income. Okay, I think we're going to end up with the diff lock on on this hill. Maybe. Maybe not. I lied. See, now I'm in a predicament here. See, there's another trailer there. I'm sure that, well, we can't get to that now. We would have had to go from the trailer place. However, where's that other one I'm thinking of? Oh, it's way over here. So we're not going to be able to get to that. There's a covered trailer there, but that's not the trailer they want. They want, uh, where's the one they want? They want the one that's over here, and there's no way in hell I'm getting that puppy out and getting up the hill. I shouldn't say no way. Uh, do we want to go check it out? Let's go check it out, just in case. Just in case. We might be able to winch it out. I mean, we're in the area. Oh my gosh, look where that sucker is. I don't know, guys. I don't think we're going down there. Oh, and we're so low on fuel, too. No, we can't waste our time here. We gotta go get in town and get gas. Yeah. I mean, to be honest, we might be able to make it down there, but I don't know that our winch cable is long enough. But I just realized our fuel is treacherously low right now. Somebody wasn't paying attention. I have no idea who that was, but... Try to get through all this without the diff lock or without the all-wheel drive so that uh, use a little bit less fuel. Get back, and I want to pick up a thing of steel plus that trailer. Whenever we're going to be able to do it. We didn't even 
there nowhere near that sign and it fell down. What the hell? Stay off to the right side of the road here. start working on that other bridge and uh, rock slide if I can. So I'd like to get them, once we get the roads opened up, sometimes just the diff lock will do it and apparently the diff lock uses less fuel. gas station. Still like to pick up a thing of uh, steel beams here, but it'll have weight on the trailer to go back. I mean, we're going to have to come in to get more steel anyways, I'm pretty sure. But platform there we go again I want to try to do things as much manually as possible The headboard is a steadying device. There we go. Got cargo, restore crane. We're good to go. But we need that other trailer. 17 meters. I'm pretty confident we can make it to the gas station. Unfortunately, we're going to take down this guy's fence because he's in a stupid spot. I don't know who the hell parked it there. Do they need to be shot? I'm going to rip down his fence and uh, I don't think we're going to make it past. Uh, we might. Uh, maybe we'll get lucky. might get lucky. We didn't have to tear down his fence. Oh, we got lucky. Talk about skills. Now, we got 14 meters to get to the gas station. We should be good. It's not like
like there's anyone in town, we can run the, there is no stop sign, but we'll run it anyways, even if there was. Told you we'd make it. 10 liters. Yeah, we got lots to spare. Yeah, that's it. I know we can just pull anywhere in the square, but I kind of like to get close to the pumps. Puff, we're full. Time to head back to the garage, to the yard. I think we're going to uh, put our all-wheel drive on just to get through this. there for a second. Okay, so when we get back to the yard, I'll explain to you what I've done. You'll see my equipment. Well, you already know what I've got for equipment. But I did sell off the... Uh, International Scout, and I did bring in my Apache, the DLC. So it was just a swap, if you will. Sort of, sort of, I say sort of. Ow! Oh my goodness, where did I learn to drive? Well, it could have been worse get that fixed when we get back to the, the garage. A little heavy with those bricks in the back, I think, and the steel. Anyways, as I was saying, so if you guys remember from episode one, we were, I was trying to contemplate what to do with my Russian DLC items and my Western Star. Uh, even though the Western Star is American and would fit in on this map, for now, I didn't want to bring it in because it's a new truck, right? It's newer, and we're running old equipment. So maybe later on as we go, I might uh, bring it over. But what I did was... I sent it off to Russia. Just like I sent the Bandit to Russia, and I sent the Khan to Russia. And I'll, I'll, I'll show you when we get back. It'll be all clear to you. And I did it because I don't want to be able to see them and be tempted to bring them in or to just sell them for the money. So this way, I'm not tempted to sell them. And... Uh, They're not, they're out of sight, out of mind, right? That's what they say. Let's go over to the left here if we can. offload these when we get back, or oh, the steel at least. Well, maybe not the steel, maybe those two in the back, because I think we need to fix the bridge first. Not 100% sure. I don't know if we'll do that in today's episode. I think it's the, the, the bridge first and then the, the rock slide that's over there. I know some of you guys that are new saying, oh, how do you know that already? It's all covered in black. Yeah, well that's, that's again the whole point. Go out and 
you know, play around, discover the map with one save game, get an idea of uh, what you're doing, a feel for the game, learn the equipment, and then start a save game that you're going to take serious, which is kind of what I'm doing here. This is going to be a full playthrough. Not going to skip anything. And so one of the rules I've made for myself, and I can't remember if I mentioned it before, is we're not going to go... It, it's so easy. If you guys want better trucks and you don't really care, uh, which is what I've done with my original save game, is you go over to Russia. You can get the Tega, and you can buy the, uh, the Azov. Two of the best starting trucks that you can get early on in the game. The, the Tega is free. You just have to go recover it. And the Azov, you got to buy. It's 93000 100000 with uh, the upgrades you're going to need on it and whatnot. Um, so basically, you have to sell everything you have here to go do it, which is it's doable because those you won't need anything more. Those are the two best trucks uh, to get started. Oh, where the hell am I going to put this? I think we'll put the uh, bricks and the other one over here. We'll hold on to the steel for a, a minute. A minute. I know. They should have put an entrance right here. So we're going to park this right here. Temporarily. I wonder if I can put the steel on top of the bricks. I wonder if it would fall through or glitch. We don't need the concrete yet, but I'm sure we're going to need it for something. I'm, I'm almost positive. Okay, so what I want to show you stop the engine for now turn that off all right so let's go into the garage all right so as you can see nothing in here right 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 all right so if we go over to Tamar what I have done is that put these trucks in the garage. I didn't store them, I just left them in the garage, which means they're not available on any other map but this map. See, Bandit, Con, Western Star, my DLC stuff. And they're all safe and sound here. Pretty ingenious, huh? All right, so with that being said, let's just take a quick look. See, in that way, as you can see, I got 30,000 that I've earned, and yes, I know, I, I earned a little bit. Okay, so let's take a look at the map. You can see I haven't discovered these two, three up here, which will make a huge difference. We've now repaired this bridge here. Now, I do know for a fact that up here somewhere, there's another bridge that needs to be fixed. And I'm thinking if we uh, we get up here, hit the gas station, and we go explore up here, hit this tower, get this tower, get this tower, we'll unlock all what we need to unlock there. We may go unlock the bridge first and then go repair it. And same with the uh, landslide. So a combination of discovering these three towers in the next episode and fixing the bridge and that rock slide over there. So as you can see, we went and did... Uh, the two watchtowers that were over here, this one and this one here. Plus there was a little uh, side mission up on top of this mountain, which was a pain in the ass. Yeah, I did that. Anyways, yeah, I was trying to record. Things screwed up, and I do apologize, guys. So we still need to recover this guy at some point. Oh, blaze place beyond the spruces. Oh, nope, I didn't do it yet. Okay, so you guys will get to see that one. I thought I had. We do need to recover this drowned highway truck. I don't know that we can do it with the equipment we have right now. But we will scope it out. 
Uh, that bridge is done. We've discovered everything up here that needs to be discovered. Our uh, scout was over here, if you guys remember correctly. Oh, no, the scout was over here, sorry. There was an upgrade over at this one. That's what there was. Now, I do know there's a few more upgrades over here, but they're not unlocked yet or visible, so we'll have to get them as we go. I know that we will be building a oil derrick here. So we're, we're getting there, we're getting there. So we do need a little bit better equipment. But I think in our next episode, because we're, we're just under the hour, and I know with the last one we did almost two hours, but I think I prefer to do it like this. It makes it a little easier on me. And, uh, yeah. So, anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to smash that thumbs up button. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe. And, uh, yeah, we'll see you in episode three. It will not take as long to get episode three out. I do apologize. Oh, we got to recover this guy, too. Um, so, yeah. All right, guys. We'll yak at you later. Thanks for watching.